Okay, ready? Ready. Wow. This is so exciting. Oh my god, look at my cheeks. They've like frozen and gone so I look like a like a pink snowman. This is so beautiful. Like it hasn't snowed like this in London for three years. When so it's when we in. moved, yeah. yeah. So for a lot of you this might not seem like a lot of snow, but for Londoners this is amazing. Look at the floor. My battery's flashing at me, but we decided to come out on a walk in it. Look at the state of me, my cheeks are so funny and my hat I'm covered the only thing I have sensible on is my red wing boots <laughs> everything else is just covered in snow but your um, snow peak coat is doing really well it is yeah. <laughs> I love the sound of the crunches yep. Done now. Right, ready? What are we doing? This might be a little bit noisy, guys, because Alan's cooking dinner and we've got the window open. Um, but I'm about to do a shop on IKEA. I want to upgrade the flat. I think this is going to be a good project. We're home all the time. It doesn't feel completely finished, even though we've lived here for nearly two years. And we may move out in March 2022. So I don't want to spend too much money, but there are just bits which could just do with a bit of an extra love. Um, now I have to be honest, I thought I'd already made this uh, order. My plan was this week to show you guys everything I ordered and then redecorate <laughs> with the stuff. But it was meant to arrive yesterday because they said the delivery was yesterday and the day before. And then when it didn't arrive this morning, I thought that's really weird. So I checked my inbox and I have no emails from Ikea and then I checked my bank and no money has been taken. So I think I imagined that I placed the order. Like I do remember doing the order. And I remember seeing how much it costs and I put in my card details, but I clearly didn't press complete. I don't know what went wrong there. But anyway, obviously I didn't realise I did that. So for the last four weeks since I made this order, I've been counting down for it to arrive. Like every few days I tell Alan how many more days until the stuff I got arrives. And I didn't even do it. But it just means we can do it together now and it's something fun for us to do. So I am now going to go to a screen share and we're going to go through ikea together now this is quite exciting because there's some things last time i forgot to get um which i now have remembered i want like a nice vase um it doesn't sound that exciting but i think this is very exciting so we're going to go through together and see um quick and then we'll see what we get there we go so you guys can see what i'm looking at now um, so I've made a list of things I need to get. Let's start with the bathroom first. I want to get a new bath mat. And I want it to be white. We currently have a blue one. And I just feel like the bathroom's got like a horrible yellow light bulb and everything is... I think the walls are a bit yellow in the bathroom and everything's a bit dark. Um, now my dream bath mat is one from Cold Picnic. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen even though I feel like you're looking at everything at the moment. Um, I was going to say I'll put it here, but then it's going to be tiny because I'm smaller. Um, but the one from Cold Picnic with the boobs is my dream bath mat, but it's more expensive and I don't have the budget for it right now. So I'm actually thinking just to get this £1.50 bath mat. Um, we already have this one. We have it in blue and it's so cheap and it's so thin, but it's so cheap that you kind of feel like if you didn't have it in the future, it's not a big deal. Um, but then they also have this one, which is £4, so still really cheap, and it just looks a bit thicker. Should I get that one, or the one pound fifty one? I think I'll get this one. It's only £3 more. Look, this one, it's £9, looks much nicer, it's like so much thicker. But because one day I do want to get the cold picnic one, I don't want to get something too thin. Um, and we'll find new homes for these things if we do upgrade to the cold picnic in 2022 but 
we may not upgrade to the cold picnic one for a while who knows because i wanted to get that cold picnic bath mat when we moved in and it's been three years so we shall see okay so i've got my bath mat we can tick that off for this next we want a tray i want a tray for the bath alan yeah can you close the door because otherwise no one's going to understand what i'm saying sure did you order the um things from the online I'm doing it, what, Ikea? No, the other stuff. What, my supplements? supplements? No, because one of them, they don't have the vitamin I used to take, so I need to... Does your mum okay. want something? No, no, because you could get the vitamin C, you know, from there as well if we get a discount. I get, I'm already getting vitamin no, C. The one that I get. Yeah, we can. And then if your mum wants some vitamin D, I can get it, because I can get 33% yeah, yeah. off. I, she got some already recently. Okay, sure. Um, and I remember, you need to shut the door. I'm trashing it out. Oh, great. Okay, thanks. I, I can still hear him. Can you guys still hear him? Also, I me and Alan went on a walk after work and we got rained on. So I, I, my hair goes outwards when it rains. So if by the end of this my hair's out here, you'll know why. Um, okay, bath tray. Um, we want to have like, I mean, Alan, I've, I've managed to get Alan into baths, which I can't believe. I have looked at some of this stuff before, guys, obviously, because I thought I did this order. Um, but look, this is nine pounds. And I think that would be nice. So we're going to get that. I mean, I love baths. Alan's gotten into baths. I think it would be nice if we could put the iPad on it and we could put a candle on it or something else. And it would just be nice to have a tray. I think that would be good. So we're going to get that. So we can cross that off our list. Next, I need something that's not that exciting. I need a toilet brush because our one broke. Which I feel like, now I'm saying that out loud, it sounds really strange. Like how rough was alan cleaning the toilet that it broke it's nothing like that it's just we got this cheap one and it's rubbish although i don't think we got it in ikea i think we got it somewhere else it probably cost like 50p so now we're going to upgrade to this one which is two pounds 75. again i just don't see the point in buying a nice one right now i just want to get some things like there are some more things i'd rather spend more money on and some things i wouldn't but I really do feel like even though that bath mat is only four pounds, I think changing the bath mat to white is going to make a really big difference to the bathroom. Fingers crossed anyway. So I've got my toilet brush. We can cross that off. Also, Alan doesn't know a lot of this stuff I've bought. He kind of said, yeah, you can buy some things to update the space of different rooms. Um, but I haven't really shown him anything. Um, so he doesn't know. I'm also going to be getting quite a few frames because... Um, my phone because um i got some pictures printed for us to use and then i'm going to get more pictures printed so different pictures from our trips maybe some from our wedding we'll see um so i need to get some frames again thought i ordered all these things but clearly not a vase now a vase is an interesting one i didn't plan on getting it from ikea i was actually looking elsewhere for a vase there's one i saw on truva of a zebra i'll show it on the screen now and i love it but it's £55 and again, I just don't know if I, you know, need to spend that on that right now. I really want to try and save some money. We're only at the beginning of the year. I did really well with my savings last year and I want to keep going with that this year. Um, especially when we're in lockdown. But I still want to kind of like upgrade the space and have a really nice home environment. So I'm trying to find a balance here. Um, which is hard when you like shopping like I do. Now, what do you guys think of this one? Because I quite like this. It reminds me, it's kind of similar to those like firm living glasses, apart from it doesn't have any ridges in it, but the shape reminds me of that. Um, it's like a dark grey colour. Although it's actually here, it looks like a light grey, doesn't it? So I do like that one, that's an option. Um, let's add it to the basket and then if we don't see better, look, they've got suggestions here. We'll go through those in a bit. Um, if we don't see better, then we'll get that one because my mum's birthday is coming up in February and my sister said she was going to get some nice flowers, which I thought was such a nice, nice idea that I'm copying it and I'm going to get some... I'm going to get... I think I'm going to get quite a few flowers and put them in different parts of the flat. Um, I think that's nice. Uh, I do quite like this one. I think I prefer this one, actually. The Dromsk. Dromsk. I don't know how to say these things. Um six pounds and it looks quite modern that is nice similar products let's see okay i think i like this one let's add that to the bag and then take out the other one 
remove. Yeah, that looks like nicer, doesn't it? Cool. Um, what next? Got our vase. Currently, I don't have a proper vase. We use um like a little jar that we got at a um um. God, it's been so long since we've gone. I can't remember what they're called. Car boot sale, and it was only five pounds. But I just want something bigger for some more flowers. Um, okay, next up, I need jars. Jars. Jars with lids. I want to get some nice jars for the kitchen. I think these are the ones I wanted last time. I thought these are quite good for, like, if I'm... When I go back into the office, I can make little snacks in these. So I could put some carrots and hummus in those, or I can put... Um, if I was having like yogurt for breakfast, I could put that in those. Um, if we made like a big batch of guacamole, we could put it in there. So I thought those would be quite good. You get three for two pound fifty. Great. And then I wanted to get something like well, that's quite a big one, one point eight liters. One liter. Okay, and it's blue. That's fine. I wanted to get a couple of these so that we could put our nuts in these, and then also we can have one for porridge. So let's add that to the shopping bag. I might add a second one of those to the shopping bag. So always good for storing things. Lovely. Okay, let's cross the jars off my list. Um, I need drawer organizers. My bed under bed drawer is so unorganized and messy, it's embarrassing. Alan's is perfect, he's a Virgo. When you open the drawer, it's like, everything is perfect whereas when you open mine it's like it explodes and I have to stick everything in it um so we need drawer organizers so that I can try and have that organize my pants because they just end up everywhere um do you know what? I'm just gonna get my tape measure oh I'm stuck I'm stuck on the floor I'm just gonna get my tape measure because then I can see what size things are how cute is this tape measure this is my mom's it's like a fabric one um, okay, so this is a box of seven. I don't think I need them that small. I think this quite looks quite good. This is a five pounds for two, and what's the size? 25 centimeters, so I'm guessing that's the height of them. 25 centimeters. Right, I'm just gonna measure my drawer, one second. Okay, good job I checked, my drawer is the highest point is 15 centimeters but maybe these are nine centimeters in height that makes more sense and then 25 upwards and 40 across is that right so if these were nine in height that would be good i think these are okay we're gonna get these they're giving me other suggestions of things to get as well these ones are 10 centimeters Huh, what do these look like? Hmm, these seem quite good. And these are cheaper. They are a little bit smaller. But look, they show you here how you can organise your pants. And actually, do you know what? I'm going to get these for my other drawers as well. Let's add another one. And then... I can use that in my other drawers for my gym kit. So I might get one of those. I could also use it for pyjamas. I'm gonna get two of these, Let's we can compare. I'm gonna get two of these ones and two of the others and then we can compare them. So I'll get two of these. Cause I've got two different drawers. Perfect, okay. Hopefully those are the right size. I have measured it should be okay, but you never know. I could have done all this wrong, like how I thought I ordered all this stuff and I didn't. Next up, we need a bedroom mirror. Now, I did see one I liked last time. I want something really lightweight because we don't hammer or drill in the walls. We use um, command strips, so it needs to be, I think command strips can hold anything up to seven kilos, which is great. Uh, wall mirror, let's see. Uh, so we need something light. That could be an option. Let's heart that for now. Um, 
This is the one that I got last time, like when I thought I was shopping. This mirror. What size is that? That's 40 by 130 centimeters and that's 60 by 100. I think I prefer this one. This is nice. And how much does this, I think what I liked about this is it was lightweight. Uh, oh, this is 5.96 kilos. Okay, how many kilos is this one? Details. That one's a whole kilo, basically. Oh no, it's not. It's a bit, bit lighter there. It's so tough. Which one should I get? This is the hard part because I want a nice mirror, but it needs to be able to go on the wall because I hate the mirror in our bedroom. And this is too short to lean on things. I do really like this one. Look how nice it looks here. Mm. I wonder if we just drill a hole in the wall and then fill it when we move. Should I go for it, guys? This is a really nice mirror. Okay, let's add it in the basket and then we can always come back to it. I lost you there for a minute, guys, but we are back. We are back. Perfect. Um, so I do like that mirror. What you missed was me umming and ahhing about the mirror, but I do like it. I've stuck it in the basket. So let's leave that there for now and then we can come back and have a look at it in a minute. And then lastly, we need frames. So let's have a look. I want plain, simple frames. Um, and again, they need to be lightweight because these come out quite far. Um, they want to be lightweight frames because we stick them up with um, command strips. Right, okay, this frame looks nice. It doesn't come out as far as the other one did. And this is 30 by 40 centimetres, so 40 in height. 40 centimetres in height. And then 30 wide. Okay, I'm going to get one. Ooh, should I get... I might get two of these. Because I'll put one in here and then one in the hallway. And then these ones are 21 by 30. So I want to do a bit of a... 21 by 30. 30 would be... That would be good because I want to do a um, little wall of pictures in the hallway with um, a little mirror that I got from Argos. It was, I think it was eight pounds, down from 18, which is really good. And it's got little hooks on it that we can put our masks on. I'll show you guys when I put it up, but I haven't put it up yet. Okay, and then I need a big one. So 50 by 70 is perfect. So we need that, and that's for the bedroom. Lovely. Okay, so how many frames do I need? Let's go to my basket and see um this one i think i would get how many should i get of these maybe three and then of these ones Two. Gosh, it's hard. How much have I spent so far? £128. Oof. And then delivery is £40, which is crazy. But these things will just help settle the flat into a little bit of an upgrade, which once it all arrives, I will show you guys. Okay, so those are my frames. Now, let me just think this through. How many frames do I really need? I want to put two there. So that's two. And they need to be that bigger size which I got two of, yeah. And then I need that one big frame for the bedroom, so that's three. And then in terms of for the hallway, I've got one nice one there, and I've got another one. We have got that one, two. I think I'll get two of these um, smaller ones rather than three. Where are the ones which I got? 
three up there. Let's go two of those. Lovely. That saved me, what, like six pounds? Woo! <laughs> okay, perfect. So that is my... Okay, super. I think that's it. Other things I would like to get is some, like... I really would love to redo our bathroom, but... I can't. This is what you have to deal with when you're in a rented apartment. Which is fine. Um, bathroom accessories. Do we need anything here? I think these look really nice, these cute little hanging baskets on the wall. But no, I don't think I need anything else. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Okay, let's check out and hopefully I actually do it properly this time. Then when this stuff arrives, I think it takes a few weeks, then I can show you how I use it all and what we do in the flat to hopefully make it look a bit more just like put together and like kind of refresh the area because obviously we're here all the time now it'd be nice just to kind of spruce it up and refresh it a bit okay i'm going to wrap up this vlog hopefully you enjoyed it and seeing what we get and i checked so some of the stuff's coming on the first feb and the rest is coming on the 10th and i actually checked out this time um so that's good um so yeah give it two weeks or so and i will show you where I stick everything and how we upgrade the spaces. We're going to be doing a little bit of work in the living room, some work in the bedroom, the hallway and the bathroom. So it's very exciting. We also bought a new loo seat um, because our ones, like the hinges are coming off. Um, again, I think we just bought a pretty crappy one when we moved in. Um, but that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it and I will try and think of more things to show you at home so that I can upload a video again really soon. Bye. Bye guys.